YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Google, whatever other search engine and video media player you guys are watching us on, good morning. It is Friday. I have not recorded a video in an entire week. It's crazy. One entire week. My last video was Friday of last week. So, got a lot to catch up on. Friday night last week, hopped on a plane for Syracuse, New York, and had a delay. Got held up in Washington, D.C. overnight. They put me up in a hotel. Yep. Got Silas in the back seat because I have a pickup this morning five minutes from his school. And Elizabeth has the day off, and I said, I'll take him. So we're 20 minutes away. I'm not going to talk for 20 minutes. So anyways, got to my hotel in Washington, D.C., uh, landed at Reagan, got in my hotel at 12.30 on, hang on, bud, hang on, on Saturday morning, got back up and was out of the hotel at 6.45 Saturday morning for a flight to Syracuse that got delayed. Finally got into Syracuse about 12-ish and then made it up to Carthage, New York to see mom and dad for a couple days. Nathan came up with me. Silas, please wait. Monday morning, Monday afternoon, mom, dad, and I, Nathan had already flown back to Atlanta, but mom, dad, and I made our way to Syracuse and got everything, got checked into a, uh, um, uh, I can't talk this morning, got checked into a hotel. Dad had quadruple heart bypass Tuesday morning. Um, he's doing good. We, by the time you see this video, it's probably going to be two and a half to three months after this trip that we took. Um, but he's doing good. He looks good. Um, Everything went well. Today is the third day out of surgery at 1.30 today. It will have been 72 hours. Um, they've got him eating small amounts of food, liquid food, jellos, sherbet, stuff like that. Um, so he is still in the ICU. They plan on moving him to plan on moving him to a different room, I would assume today or tomorrow, uh, but we'll just kind of wait and hang out and see what mom reports. Mom is still there. Matthew uh, came down for the surgery. He's up in Columbia, and he flew back late last night. So my, my flight was supposed to have been Wednesday at 530 and we got on the aircraft, all, all was ready to go. They shut the cabin doors and we just sat and sat and sat. And then you hear the dreaded, you know, captain come on. Hey folks, by the way, our navigation system just went down. We can't leave. So, um, <clears throat> there was another flight at 10 or 1 a.m. And I simply said, let me just get on a flight tomorrow morning, which would have been Thursday. And I went back to the hotel that Matt and Mom had. Had one amazing pizza from Nick's Pizza. If you guys are ever in the Syracuse area, uh, this was in East Syracuse. <clears throat> Nick's Pizza ordered, we ordered a pie and pepperoni and mushroom. And it was good. It was phenomenal. Price was right. was not too expensive. They delivered it right to the hotel. It was, it was good. So, um, woke up at three o'clock Thursday morning and got on a plane at, uh, 530 and hit, uh, went back to Reagan, flew over where the front Francis Scott key bridge used to be. You can still see the pylons and you can still see the boats and everybody down there working. Uh, um, 
so that was that was that was, that was cool. I mean, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> um, but got to DCA, and then two hours later was bound for Charleston. So got into Charleston shortly after shortly after eleven. The neighbor, uh, Alex, came and picked me up. Tanner was sick from school Wednesday. Or, yeah, Wednesday. Came home early, and they said, oh, he can't come on Thursday. He had a fever, so that kind of put us in scramble mode. But shout out to Alex and Alyssa. Thank you. But uh, they came, picked me up, and we got home. I dropped my bags. I started the truck let it warm up, changed, and started moving dumpsters. So we picked up a couple yesterday, put some out on location, and we have just got a busy day today. I'm gonna have to work tomorrow. Monday is Memorial Day. Yeah. Right now I have a dumpster going out and is scheduled to go out, but I'm not working. So, they may need a dumpster tomorrow when I'm running around. We may need to drop it off tomorrow afternoon because I'm not working Monday. Um, you know, we're a, we're a military family and we're going to pay our respects to those that have put their life on the line for our freedoms. So we're, we're not working, I'm, I'm not gonna hook on. Um, somebody calls and needs a dumpster and wants to pay triple the price, I'm still not gonna hook on, I'm still gonna refer them and send, send them elsewhere. So um, Memorial Day is, is a big day for us. July 4th, you know, our independence is a big day. Thanksgiving is a big day. Christmas is a big day. Pretty much anything else, if you if you wanted a dumpster, we'd probably move it for you. But you know, those four pretty big ones. I was fortunate enough. Shout out to Trash Guys. Shout out to GTO. They were able to drop dumpsters, pick up dumpsters, move dumpsters for us while I was up in New York with Dad. Shout out to Rolling Stones up in uh, Columbia. Rolling Stone Enterprises, Robbie. He was going to come down and move stuff. Um, he was on call. He answered every single time I called him. I did tell him I was probably going to need him on Thursday. And then I just moved a whole bunch of stuff around. So, Tuesday time frame, people started calling. Hey, I need this. Hey, I need this. Hey, I need this. And I was like, well, I'm in upstate New York, sitting in the waiting room. You know, dad's got his chest cut wide open. You're gonna have to wait. I've gotta find you somebody or you're gonna have to wait until I get back. And mostly everybody was very receptive of that. I did have a few that were like, well, I really need this done ASAP. And I was like, I told you, full disclosure, I told you about this. <clears throat> um, DeCarlo Fence called and said, cause we had originally talked to my toolbox just opened. Why did my toolbox just open, Silas? Right behind me. I'll have to pull over up here. You know, we, we're getting off the road in a minute. It's open. Um, he called and I answered on Tuesday. And he said, uh, why'd you answer? I thought you were on vacation drinking pina coladas. And I said, no. I said, I'm, I'm sitting in the waiting room. Dad's having open heart surgery. Oh, my God. Seriously? Like, yep. I, that's not something I joke about. He's like, well, I didn't know that. And he said, I thought you were going to drop me off a 25 yard. And I, I said, I didn't have one to drop off. I said, if we, the whole plan was if we had an extra, I'd drop it off for you, but I, I didn't have an extra. So my intention was to get him a dumpster yesterday morning, but that did not happen because A, I didn't have any empty and B, I wasn't here. So I had to get with GTO. He ran one down to him and it's not even seven o'clock on Friday yet. And I got to get with uh, Portuguese and tell him it's ready for pickup. See if I need to get it or if he's going to get it. If I need to get it, it's gonna to be tomorrow. So, all right, 10 minutes away from dropping off Silas, I'm gonna pull over right here and shut this toolbox. I don't know why it opened. And car. Got the fuel filter.
filters changed out Saturday on the truck and check engine light popped back on because of a low fuel pressure. So maybe it is the pump that's bad, but all right, we'll see y'all on the first pickup. I'm gonna pull over right here and get this toolbox shut. Silas, you stay in the truck. Pull over here on a straightaway where people can see it. All right, we'll see y'all on the pickup. Good morning, Silas. You want to tell them good morning? Can you tell them good morning? Yeah, good morning. <laughs> see ya. Trash Guys has had a dumpster out here for a long time, about a year I would say. I guess it was the homeowner that hired them, and this was the contractor that hired me. Alright, we will uh, roll to Berkeley. And then from there, we're heading.
have expected this. South Carolina afternoon thunderstorms. Just got really hot. A little bit of a wind. The sky is a little funny. Really cloudy. And this one off in Berkeley County. Berkeley County, not to be confused with Berkeley or Broccoli. I know, that made no sense. No sense whatsoever.
plenty of room and I'm trying to hurry because I'm in a cul-de-sac and there is a truck coming. <laughs> another F-250. Actually worked out very well getting out of there. He's got the whistle also. He's got more of a whistle than I do. A lot more whistle. Had to use the neighbor's driveway to get in. I'm gonna take a picture and we are headed for Mount P. Check this one out. Oh, that one's been out there for 50 days. Golly. It is 1.40. four miles probably an hour an hour 56 see you there It is five o'clock, just finishing up for the day. 93 degrees outside. So tomorrow I'm gonna have an early start. I'm gonna head it to the house. It was showing an hour, over an hour from Berkeley County to, um, <clears throat> to the yard. So I'm just gonna run to the house, get the tires pumped up. Tomorrow morning, get the 15 yard that we have dropped off at the yard run out to Mount Pleasant, get that one picked up, get it dumped, get it back on the yard, that's the one that's gonna sell, and then run out to West Ashley and get a 20 picked up. I've got one more to get picked up, but we're done for the day. It's five o'clock, I'm ready to go home. Took some steaks out of the freezer. Elizabeth stopped and got some baked potatoes, so I'm ready. Talk to mom, dad's doing good. They're hopefully moving him into another room tonight, not in the ICU anymore, they'll move him out. And uh, that's all good news, that's positive news. So it's Friday, it's five o'clock, it's my first day of work this week, out of two. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for riding with us. Welcome back to the channel. I know you guys didn't miss us because we're gonna roll just like we have been, but it's been a whole week since I've uh, been in front of this camera. So it feels kind of weird today. So yeah, live and learn. We will, uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night.